guys, it's me, Emma Kim, and so today I wanted to do a tag that I've seen going around. I believe it was started by Fleur de Force, and it's the Closet Confidential tag. And so I absolutely love, like, especially magazines where they go through other people's closets and it's like, ooh, this person has this, and they have this in their closet. And wow, it turns out that they, for some reason, kept their old, like, I don't know, shoes from fourth grade. And I just think it's really cool to kind of a peek into closets other than what is in people's like outfit of the day videos and things like that so um, especially if it's pieces you don't wear all the time <laughs> all right so let's get started so, so the first question is what is the oldest piece in your wardrobe and so now I actually have two items one of them um, is this skating dress it's from when I used to figure skate and I kept it because you know memories and it was also custom created for me and I love it like the back is so pretty and it's just like hot pink lace it was so much fun I skated to a song called a taste of honey back then and it was such a fun program I love it I used to skate and I miss it so yeah I have the sides and the plastic that's probably really obnoxious and loud but yeah, it's super sparkly and I love it. Ah! And so the second one is actually like the oldest piece of clothing I own. And this is this sweater. It was, um, my great aunt knit it for my mom in the 80s. So it's pretty, it's kind of new to me because my mom just gave it to me like I think last year. But it's got some really like puffy shoulders. So I don't wear it all the time but I really like it. It's also kind of cropped, which is super cute. I love it with high-waisted jeans. And also because like 80s fashion is kind of coming back in, um, I think it's super fun to wear. And the color I think is gorgeous. It's this like mint green and the knit is so pretty. It's like open and I'm sure it took a lot of time to make and I'm just so, I love it. It's really pretty. All right, and so the next question is what is the newest item? in your closet and so that one would have to be these brand new sunglasses which i bought with my christmas money in duty free because i'm asian and we go duty free shopping so yeah i got them in duty free in korea and they're prada sunglasses ooh fancy and so they look like this <laughs> and so um they're tortoise shell i love the shape it's like a classic shape a little bit cat eye because I think cat eye sunglasses suit my face shape well I love them they've got this gorgeous detailing of like these little triangles right about here and um and just like the logo on the side they're tortoise shell and I think they're really pretty I I love the color I love them yeah they were on sale gotta love uh, that Incheon duty free life though the next question is what is the most expensive item and so I wasn't quite sure what to put for this one but then in the end I decided on my J. Crew schoolboy blazer because we did actually end up getting it full price. I got it for my interview for um, my school where I actually do go but I, my mom wanted to get me something nice to wear for my interview, something really like classic, really classy. Um, so she got me this J. Crew blazer. And we did get it full price, and these are a little bit more expensive, but, you know, they're nice. They're wool blazers, pretty good quality. I love this. I wear it a lot. And, oh, I do have it a little bit big, so I can, like, layer under it, and I like the size. So, yeah, if you are going to get one of these, you can get it, like, the fit is really up to you. I just wanted it so I could layer, like, sweaters under it and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so the next question is what is the cheapest or most, most affordable item in your closet that you actually wear? And so mine would be this shirt. It's, um, I got it in Korea at like a random store in Dongdaemun. And so it's just like brown with this gorgeous lace at the bottom. I love it. And it's got this sunflower on it. It's like a long, loose-fitting shirt, sweater. It's, it's not a sweater, Emma, what are you talking about? It's a shirt, and so it's thin, but, like, really soft. I love it. And it goes really well over, like, leggings, just with boots when you want to be lazy. And it is in dress code, which is cool, because my school has a dress code. 
Yeah, but I like the lace at the bottom. It's kind of funky. I haven't really seen much like it. It's got a little peace sign on it too. Flower power. Alright, so the next question is what is the biggest bargain in your wardrobe? And so I have two items for this. Um, they're kind of similar, but I couldn't decide which one to put in, so I thought I'd show them both. And so the first one are these Topshop pants. I wear them all the time. I got them at Nordstrom because Nordstrom carries Topshop now, which is super cool. And um, these were, they had a really good reduction. And Topshop pants can be kind of expensive, but these were only like $20? Or were they less? $15? I don't know, they were really cheap. And they're good quality, I wear them all the time. They're high-waisted, like, ankle-length um, trousers. And I love the floral on them, like, I love these dark garden florals. I think they're gorgeous. Um, they were a really big trend for fall slash last spring. Um, so yeah, I love these. And the next one is kind of similar, like, pants. Oh, well, actually, they're a different style of pants. What am I talking about? But I got them in a, at a boutique in Boston and they were on sale for $15. They were originally a lot more and um, they're this like kind of loose front, stretchy, um, trousery, nice, not trousery, what am I talking about? They're like kind of swagging pants, kind of like swag pants, but not really. Um, they're like kind of remind me of, you know, those like super 70s jumpsuits that have like the, the v-neck with the pants part, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They kind of remind me of that, but like just the pants part. Um, they're actually like tighter than you'd expect. Um, and they're really stretchy though. They're really comfy. I love them. They're great. <laughs> and so the next question is what is the biggest waste of money? So I am actually the kind of person I most like the things I buy I wear I get rid of things I don't wear I don't shop a lot and I tend to go for like quality over quantity when I buy things But I did find two items that I think qualify and so the first one is this dress um, It was really cheap, but I haven't worn it and I've had it for a year so I think that kind of qualifies as a waste of money. I got it at Marshalls, and the back is all lace, if you can see that. I got it for an event, which I didn't end up going to, and yeah, I actually got a dress that's kind of similar, that I like better. I don't know, maybe I'll wear this at some point, but yeah, I really like the lace back. I think it's pretty, I just haven't worn it yet. <laughs> and so the next one is, I'm not sure if this qualifies as a waste of money, it was really expensive and I've worn it once, but I didn't buy it. My sister got it for me and um, yeah, it's this Bruins jersey. She went to the game, she went to, not the game, a game, and um, she picked it up for me because I play hockey, so yeah. I like it, I've worn it once. <laughs> It was really expensive, but I don't actually follow hockey that much, but I play hockey, I enjoy hockey, I watch it a little bit here and there, I'm just not like a major hockey fan, so yeah, but I still like it because, you know, New England, Bruins, yay! Now we get to the end, which is the bonus question of what are your top three items in your book? What are the top three things in your closet right now? And so I am going to start with this sweater, which is probably my favorite item in my closet right now. It's this um, aqua sweater that says God Save the Queen on it. It's a um, super soft cashmere sweater. I think it's pretty good quality. It's not like the highest quality ever because it does have some pilling on it, as you can see back here. Um, I love this sweater though. It's so comfortable. It's so soft. It, I have it a little bit big for me too, so I can wear it with leggings or with like tight things, but it also looks super cute with like skirts. And I absolutely adore it because it's this like super punk inspired, you know, it's it's the Sex Pistols song, God Save the Queen. But I love it. 
Um, it was really expensive, but my mom got it for me because I saw it in a magazine in the fall. And then I just, I was like, oh my god, mom, this sweater is so gorgeous. It's so nice. Oh my god, I, I really want it. And then she was like, Emma, it's $200. And I was like, oh, probably not going to get that because it's $200 for a sweater. But then um, it did end up going on sale and it was only $100, which is still really, really expensive. But my mom knew I wanted it so badly and I've already worn it like too many times. I should probably stop wearing it as much. I worked twice this week to school. <laughs> so I think it was worth it if I'm wearing it this much. And a tip if you have really nice sweaters, um, you want to wear something under it with like sleeves, so like a long sleeve t-shirt or short sleeve t-shirt instead of a tank top because that will help it from like getting gross armpit sweat smells or whatever. So it'll stay good longer and there are things you can do to keep sweaters in better condition like storing them in a cedar wardrobe or with mothballs when you're not wearing them. So in the summer I do put all of my wool and cashmere and just like winter sweaters. I put them in something and I put them in my mom's closet which is a cedar closet and moths don't like cedar so this will prevent it from getting moth eaten. And so the next item I got in Korea at a store that I had never heard of before. I am, it was in Gangnam, if that helps anyone, if you live in Korea. I found the bag. It says KM Clay. But um, this is the skirt. It's this gorgeous blue and um, black houndstooth, like, swingy, circly skirt. It fits super well. It looks so cute on. I'm not exactly sure what material it is. It kind of feels like a wool blend. So it's like, it's pretty heavy. Um, I love like the circly skirt and it's kind of a fit and flare or something. It goes high waisted or a little bit lower on the waist if you want it to. It's just got a little zipper on the sides. So you can take it on and off. I love this skirt to bits. It was on sale, made in Korea, I think. That might have been a lie. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we just picked it up at a shopping gang now. Yeah. And so the last of my top three items is a pair of shoes. I actually got these for Christmas from my best friend, Megan. Thanks, Meg. You the best. And so they look like this. They're so cool, aren't they? They're like this super funky, like military riding inspired mysterious heeled boot Ooh. they're super comfy um they're really comfy because of like the thick heel and the sole as you can see it kind of reminds me of like a timberland boot sole so they're not slippy um and they look good as they're getting a little bit distressed they're getting a little you see that here I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it looks kind of cool, but some of like, the color is rubbing off here, which I'm not sure how I feel about that, but that's just from walking in them. So, um, yeah. We had a little warm spell, so I was able to wear heels without like having to worry about ice and death and stuff like that. But these, I don't know, they're just gorgeous. But yeah, I'm not sure where she got them. Um, the brand, it says Fanatic on them. But yeah, they're really cute, they're really cool, they're really comfy, they're like buckly and awesome, and just like... <sighs> Alright, so that is it for this video, so if any of you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, I really appreciate that. And um, also, if you see this video and want to make it, please do, and let me know below if you made it, and I'll probably go over and give it a watch. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts. You're the best. Please subscribe for more shenanigans and follow me in the links below. God save the queen. Her fascist regime. You know that one? Mm -hmm. No future. No future. No future for you. Yeah, that one.